So, Multiverse has just relaunched, and you want to know what's up and what's all the new stuff that comes with it. Well, you came to the right video, as I'll be going over all the stuff that's jam-packed within Multiverses that came in with this new build. So, strap in, and I hope you enjoy. Starting off, we have three new characters. Well, technically two, but you can get a third character, which is Agent Smith, if you grind the Rift content, which is the new offline PvE content. However, it's not just offline, it's co-op, so you can do it with a friend too if you'd like. But the new characters that come with the new Multiverses update are Jason, Agent Smith, and Banana Guard. Hello! The way you can get these characters are Jason is in the Battle Pass, and if you can't just afford that $10, don't fret. However, it is going to take a little bit of grinding, so strap in. The first thing you're going to want to do is pick a few characters that you think look appealing to you. Then play those characters as much as you can and level them up to level 15. Once you get each character to level 15, you can unlock a set amount of Gleamium per character. Then you can save up and get the Battle Pass for free. Then you can save up the Battle Pass Gleamium and get the Season 2 Battle Pass absolutely free. Everything in this game is earnable, except of course there's shop exclusive items, but that's beside the point. Next up are the changes to the battle pass. This time around, there's a lot more rewards to unlock, from more ring out animations to more skins. And like I said, you can earn Gleamium throughout the battle pass and earn enough to save up for the season 2 battle pass, if you don't spend any on shop items of course. For currency, Player First Games decided to completely get rid of gold, and they will compensate players that in the beta had gold with exclusive rewards or prestige points, I believe. There are Fighter Pass currency, which these will be used to unlock characters, and these will be earned through just playing the game and completing mission challenges. Then you have Gleamium. This is earned through either getting a character max level to level 15, or through the battle pass, either the free or premium track. And lastly are prestige points. These are earned through unlocking high tier skins and rewards. You can then use these prestige points to unlock even more exclusive rewards and cosmetics for other characters. Now last but not least, let's get on to the gameplay changes that I've at least noticed from the new build. For starters, universally everyone got dash attacks now. This is done by just holding forward or sprinting or running and pressing your side attack button. Bigger attacks in this game seem to have even more recovery, so be wary when you're trying to just throw out attacks, as you can be whiff punished and even comboed a lot easier now. And last change I've noticed is you can't just quite spam dodge as there's more recovery on the dodge as well. So when you dodge, you need to make sure it's meaningful and uh, strategical. Parry is also a new mechanic and this is done by just neutral dodging. However, this has to be pretty frame perfect and is strict. So I don't think you'll be seeing a it a lot unless it's a very hard read. As we conclude this video, i just like to thank Player First Games for being so dedicated to making a better multiverses, and I hope this game thrives, and just can't wait to jump in and enjoy all the new content along with everyone else. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and consider even subscribing for more multiverses and fighting game content. This is DarkSynth signing out, and I hope you take care.